to great viewers of our channel. My name is Solis in Odezu, the anchor man. And uh, today we are at the Ozzy IDP camp in Soli, Yonaga. We are the PDP. Click the like button, subscribe to our channel so that we follow us, and also click the bell that is so that I can get our videos as we come online every week. Watch the video. No, no. No, no. Democratic Party, the chairman of the Board of Trustees, okay. and my amiable and resourceful deputy governor. For want of time, I recognize all of you in the entourage of our presidential candidates and all the leaders and elders of our party here in the state, both in government and the party. Our good people of Bayelsa, Anwar, yeah. Anwar, yeah. Anwar, yeah. we have today with us a man full of compassion, a man who is a philanthropist, a man who has human affection. He has been communicating with me long before today when we were under the flood and still under the flood. He was out of the country and he told me that as soon as he comes in, he was coming to show his love to the people of Bayelsa. So we have him with us today. Atiku Abubakar. Let us stand for him. He just didn't come today. As he came, he has seen the level of diversification in our state. He came prepared. He didn't say he's coming 
to respond to you later. No. He has already given me the sum of 50 million naira. As his donation, his donation to all the victims affected by this flood. That money is already in our hands and we will use it to take care of the IDPs. But he said he will not go unless he comes to see you. He comes to see you. So he has come to see you and he will speak to you. He will encourage you the same way I have been encouraging you. He has come as a father. We are happy as a state that he has come. We are happy because our father has come. And he is behaving as a father. So let me now take the liberty to invite a man full of human milk, a man full of compassion, a leader by all stretch and imaginations, a man whose word you can take to the bank. May I invite... Then let me also remind you you know, we have also lost a lot of people to this flood. Children have died. Old women have died. Today, I went to Opuruma, and I was trying to be happy to say that in Opuruma, we have not lost anybody. I was just there reminded that one old woman just died two days ago. There are a lot of deaths that we have not even recorded in the interland. But because our leader is a compassionate leader, the head of the footballer who was rescuing people, rescuing people up to the fifth person and later sacrificed his own life. So our leader recognizes sacrifices. Our leader has given a posthumous award to the family of those who are alive, the footballer who sacrificed his life by rescuing other people. Not only did he give the posthumous award, he has also given a scholarship to the children of the footballer, the late footballer. Clap for him, please. So, let me now take the liberty to invite the Waziri Adamawa, former Vice President of the Federal Republic, and of all the people there is only one person who answers that title, former Vice President of the Federal Republic. Your Excellency, our father, our leader, my leader, my father, I hand over the microphone. Sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, eyes on! Yeah! Eyes on! Yeah! Eyes on! Yeah! God bless you. God bless you. Well, you know, when I see too many of our people in this state of despair, in this state of want, in this state of hopelessness. I really get emotional. So if I don't talk to you for long, just understand that I feel what you feel. I have come here to join you, to let you know that you are not the only people who are feeling what you are feeling. The fact that we are far away from you 
doesn't mean we don't feel how you feel. We have come to share in your despair. We have come to share your sorrow. We have come to share your want. And we have come to share everything that you feel today. And we want to let you know that we will continue to be with you until this temporary situation is brought to an end. If I were to come here every day, I want to promise you every day I will put something down. But unfortunately, I can't because I cannot be everywhere because I'm only one single individual. I have just been shown a lady who looks after you here. Is she around? And I'm told she is also an honorable member of the house. I want to commend you for what you are doing. At least for my visit this evening, I undertake your dinner tonight. So I am giving her the sum of five million naira for your dinner tonight. I want to assure you that we will continue to support you until you get back to your normal life. God bless you all. will be taking their exit immediately after the national anthem. <laughs>